Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary, and I've got some more Stampin' Up! goodies to share with you today, guys. I got this cheerful basket stamp set. Isn't it cute? I love this little kitty cat and this butterfly together. And this little basket has a cluster of hearts, of apples, and this is crafting supplies that you can tuck down in there. And our sentiments are sending you some get well cheer. You fill my day with happiness and inspired by you. And I just think it's adorable. Now, I've stamped the basket, the little kitty cat, and the apples. And I'm going to be coloring them with some of these Stampin' Blends. And after I get them colored, I'm not going to make you watch me because it takes me a long time. I'm very slow at coloring. <laughs> but these are really easy to use because you get a dark and a light of each color. So that helps you with any kind of blending. I'm just going to do some simple uh, coloring today. But I will tell you the colors that I use. And we're going to make a little portrait style card today. So I'm going to go ahead and get my kitty and my basket and my apples colored up. And we'll come back and make a card with them. Oh, and if you're interested in any of the Stampin' Up! supplies you see me use today, you can go visit my Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Janice Lewis. I'm going to give you a link to her site right below this video on YouTube and on my blog. Okay, let's get going. Now you can see I went ahead and stamped my kitty cat, the apples, and the basket. I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now I fussy cut mine, but you can get a set of matching dies for this cheerful basket uh, stamp set and I think you get a special price if you buy the bundle but as I said I went ahead and fussy cut mine out nothing to it now for my basket I'm going to use the light and dark crumb cake for my little kitty cat I'm going to use the light and dark smoky slate my apples, I'm going to color with cherry cobbler, light and dark. And the leaves on the apples, I'm going to use the light and dark old olive. Here's my little kitty cat and my basket of apples all colored. And didn't they turn out great? Those Stampin' Blends do a great job. And it was quick and easy. Now we're going to put these on our card. So we're going to scoot them over here and bring in our card base. We've got a white card base and this is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded and it's a portrait style card. To go on my card base I've got this piece of red and white polka dot and this is four inches by five and a quarter. We're going to line that up. Hopefully I'll get it straight. There we go. Now to go on my little red and white mat, I took this scallop die, and this is three and three quarters by five, and I cut a white rectangle. If you don't have a scallop die, you can use your Cricut and Design Space, or your Cricut Expression and Elegant Edges, or just use a plain rectangle if you don't have uh, a way to cut a scallop. It will still be just as cute. And you can see, I went ahead and stamped it with a stamp from that cheerful basket set right here. You fill my day with happiness. I thought that was really sweet. And I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to get that attached to the front of my card. Okay, now here's my little kitty cat sitting by the basket of apples. I went ahead and attached him to the front and I've got all this on foam tape and I'm going to get that added right down here at the bottom. Here's my finished card and didn't it turn out cute guys. I just love it and I love this little kitty cat. 
The reason I colored him gray is because I used to have a little gray cat, and his name was Mouse. <laughs> he was such a sweet little guy. So I'm going to call him Mouse. <laughs> but guys, I just love this stamp set. It is so cute, and I can think of so many different occasions to use this for. And as I said, I'm going to give you a link to my Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Janice Lewis, right below this video. So make sure you check that out. Love, love, love this little card. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you all so very much for coming by. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. God bless you all. And I'll see you again soon with another card. Bye now.